What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Awa, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Awa. Today, I'm going to show you how to make my no-bake chocolate uh, peanut pudding pie, and you're saying to yourself, Black Awa, that's quite a lot of peas. Well, I know it is. Kind of like Mr. Popper's penguin. So, this is the peanut pie, though, the chocolate pudding peanut pie, and we're going to get it started to get it done because I want some now. So, first thing you got to do go have a pie, you gotta have a pie crust. And you're saying to yourself, like, I want, did you go ahead and make a homemade pie crust? Did you stay up all night and do it the way Grandma used to do? Well, I would have, but you know me, buddy. I got time for that shit, so I went to get, and uh, I got the pre-made pie crust today. Had to get uh, Keebler, the elf himself, because I was looking around for the cheap one, and they didn't have it, but that Keebler, the old elf, wasn't too bad. So, I'm gonna go ahead and use that, go ahead and lay it out, get it uh, prepared. Now, Next thing you got to do, you want to have a pie, uh, pudding pie. You got to have some pudding, don't you? So, we're going to go ahead and get some pudding. I'll make us, make us happy like Billy Madison when it was his birthday. And then, let's go ahead and uh, read the back of that box. I went ahead and got this chocolate pudding today. Read the back of the box. It'll tell you two cups of milk in that sucker. You put it in there. You get your whisk. You put the pudding mix in there and just stir it all around. And you do the hokey pokey and you say that's what it's all about. So, go ahead and get that mixed up. Let it sit for a minute because it'll kind of sit up, and then you want to go ahead and dump it right in your pie crust, my friends. So, oh, once you get that done, smooth that out. We're gonna let that chill in the uh, refrigerator there for just about an hour or so to let it good and set up. And then uh, you know you can go and play a bubble bobble or something while you wait. So after you're done bobbling, you come back in an hour. That's set up pretty good. We're gonna get our whipped topping. We ain't got no cool whip. Ain't got no money for no. Cool whip today. We got the whip topping. I'm gonna lather that on there. Thick, sir. Thick. Look like when somebody's shaving their head on that shaving cream. It's not shaving cream. It's the little whip. Alrighty. Now, go ahead and put that whip on top of that thing, baby. And we're gonna make it sang, baby, with just a little bit of peanuts. And you're saying, like, oh, why are you doing that? I'm gonna crunch this extra texture. And I got these uh, honey roast peanuts today. You say, why honey roast? Because that's what I like. It's as simple as that. So, once we've got our garnish of the peach on there, so. We're gonna <laughs> go ahead and uh, have sight and have a cool no bake chocolate peanut pudding by tonight, aren't we, my boy? <laughs> I think we will. Alright buddy, the time has come. The chocolate pudding pie is done. And I'm having that first bite for me. Now you'll notice taking this out. It's gonna be awfully gooey gooey, but and I hold its shape, but oh it's gonna be good. So give me a big old bite, I want everything on me fork. And then probably all over myself. a good floppy pie, my man. Cool whip and pudding playing well together. Having a good old time. That graham cracker crust the home run every time, buddy. And the peanuts really do something to it. It gets a little extra crunch, a little different texture, a little different flavor, and it's one to savor. It's a good one. So I want to thank all you good ones for stopping by on another episode of Cooking with Black Owl. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on my YouTube channel. Now, oh, excuse me, I'd like a little more pie for myself. I might have this. I think about having this, I don't know, we'll see.